my name is Dr. Ian Dunbar. In this program we're going to look at dog trainers around the world. Welcome to World's Dog Trainer. One of the most important ways to promote a strong bond between children and dogs is through play. So today we're going to be working with playing with your dogs. There you go. The child and the dog are engaged in play and they're both having a great time. The tug game is so good because the dog is oriented towards the child. Now dogs get easily excited in play and we need a way to get them to refocus and exhibit a little self-control. So we're going to work with stop drop and roll. Um, when children are in school, oftentimes they're taught, for example, when their clothes are on fire, they don't run, they stop, drop and roll. And this is a technique we're going to use with our dogs today. Sit, drop. Excellent. The stop, drop and roll from the dog's perspective is great fun. He doesn't understand that he's actually stopping play. That's part of his play. But for our, our purposes, the dog's back under control, looking at us, focusing on us. Yay, Alfie! And as a reward, play again. Yes! What we just built was a series of behaviors. Play, stop, drop, and roll. And in order to teach that, you've got to break it down. So you want to teach your dog first a nice, relaxed drop and then a rollover. Um, and if you put that back into the play, and all dogs love to play, then you're going to have a nice, fun, controlled play session with your dog. All right, targeting, touching the nose to the hand, right? So I want Bender to touch my left hand and my right hand. Yes, good boy! We're going to add a turn. Now a turn is a clockwise little circle with our puppies. Our combination that's a little trickier. So it's called weaving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a piece of food in my left hand. My legs are apart. I'm going to reach through my legs and show Alfie the food, lure him into a sit at side position. Yes, good boy. Then I'm going to reach through with my right hand, guys. Alfie, pop, pop, pop. Lure Alfie through my other leg into a sit at side. Yes, good boy. Nicely done with Chanel. Good sit at side. Yes. You got it. Yay! Now, honey, I'm sorry you've got the biggest dog. That's a little tougher for you. Do the other side. Sit side. You did it, girl. Yes. Well done. We're going to put everything that we've learned together into a little kind of a combo. So, touch, touch, turn, sit. Through and sit. Through and sit. Okay? Yes, good dog. Yes, good dog. Yes, good dog. Sit. Yes, good dog. Sit. Yes. Sit. Yes. Yay, Alfie! That was excellent! That is beautiful. Another excellent activity for dogs and children to do together is grooming. Initially we would ask that the children did this for approximately 30 seconds at a time, maybe twice a day, and then we could build it up to 5 to 10 minutes and they could do that every day. This is a good activity for kids and dogs to take part in at the end of a long day when both of them have had their evening meal and while the family is sitting watching TV. And this is something that we would keep that's relaxing for both the dog and the child. Dogs are very intelligent animals and they were bred to do a job and because they don't have those jobs anymore and they live with us as companions, we're going to give them a specific job to do. This is a star mark dog treater. What you do is you take off the lid and you put the dog treats in there. Once you put about three 
three pinches of hands full in. You put, you screw the lid back on, and you put it on the floor and wait for your dog to come and get it. He will roll it around the floor until all the biscuits come out. I like to free some sardines for my dog and I'd often throw them out and the dog can go hunt out for them and look around. It gives the, good, the dog a good activity to do. Another great way to enrich your dog, get him working for his food and have a lot of fun at the same time is to use one of these things. So you've got here a little treat ball with a hole in it and you put his bickies in there and hanging down the end is a nice little tug toy and you can often um, soak this in chicken broth and the dog will love to tug on it. Now when the dog tugs on this, it's going to bounce up and down because of this little bungee cord connection. And as it bounces, treats are going to fall out of this. And you hang this outside for your dog when you leave in the morning and it's going to keep him busy with his breakfast for a good part of the day. My dog likes the Kong because they, they just, you put something like peanut butter in them and they just bounce around and the dog tries to lick it out and it just takes ages to, it keeps them going for ages. Another fun activity you could do with your dog's breakfast or dinner is to play the three cup game. So we can put a few of the biscuits under one of the cups and this is while the dog is maintaining a sit stay under the cup. Then we're going to work them around and then release your dog from the sit stay to find which one has the treats. And I bet if you have a beagle, they'll find the right one. These are just some of the exercises we do that help to build a really good, healthy relationship between child and dog. Paw Prince provides cutting edge classes and behavioural consultations for people in the Perth area. We will continue to expand and to educate the public on dog behaviour to increase the well-being of our companion dogs. Paw Prints Pet Training strives to promote a healthy, lifelong bond between children and their pets through fun, safe training. We at Paw Prints keep up with the latest research and techniques in animal behaviour and learning. We would love to hear from you. At Paw Prints Pet Training, we encourage education for the life of the dog and the child. Please visit us at our website.